All right, guys, so we got our seals in here for the priming cylinder. Um, show you guys how I went through here and how I've got everything measured out. Maybe explain a little bit about the seals, kind of what they are. Show you guys the installation. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to start out measuring our piston seals here on the priming cylinder. So, it's actually got a two-piece piston here. Uh, it comes apart kind of in the center. The nut is actually what helps hold the piston together. It's up against the bottom of the rod. Um, so we're going to start out here with, like I said, with the piston seal. So this is technically, I guess terminology is the fluid, it's a fluid seal. So it's a three-piece seal. It's got L-shaped bearings or wear bands, depending on where you're from and what terminology that you like uh, on each side of it. And then you've got a raised spot here in the center that actually seals up against the barrel. Um, the way that you kind of measure this out, you can do it a couple of different ways. Um, the way that I normally do it, whenever I call my seal suppliers, I'll give them an overall height measurement, and then I'll give them a measurement of the overall of the uh, step here on top of the step of the rubber element. But we'll go ahead and we'll kind of get started there. Uh, so our, our overall height for this is 1.239 inches. Then our overall height for the rubber element is 0.7365 inches. Then for our OD and our ID for this, we're actually just going to be using the rubber element. So our OD comes out to 2.47 and our ID comes out to 1.850. Now with those measurements, you should be able to call up any seal supplier and should be able to give them them measurement. They should be able to match it up for you. Um, so the next we're going to be moving on to is the gland. Uh, the gland is actually a fairly simple gland. Um, it's got a U-cup, it's got a metal clad washer, and an O-ring with a backup. I mean, it's don't really get much simpler than that. Um, so we're going to start out here with the U-cup. Um, I will tell you, the U-cup is broke on this one. Uh, which that's why it was brought in for a rebuild, because it's actually leaking. And this is a loaded U-cup. Generally, they have an O-ring right through here, but I've already threw the O-ring away whenever I pulled this out. Um, in some situations, you're not going to be as fortunate as what I am with this one to be able to measure this height. Because um, a lot of the times, this right here will dry rot, and you're pulling it out in pieces, and you've kind of got to guesstimate on your height if you don't have nothing to stick back in here and actually measure the height of this seal. Um, but generally, the way you're going to do your OD, your ID, and your height for this is pretty much the same way we did the piston seals. You do your OD, uh, which is roughly 1.839. You're going to do your ID, which is 1.505. Then we're going to look at the height here, which is a 0 0.380. So one thing about the height on these, they come in a various of different sizes, from any, anywhere from an eighth inch all the way up to a one inch. So, I mean, eighth inch, I think they even make a 532nd, a 964th, I believe. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, I know they make quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, like I said, all the way up to an inch. Um, so that height is really important. General, a general rule of thumb um, that I've had to do for a couple of the farmers here on the weekends, uh, like on a Saturday when the supplier's not in, just to get them back going, cutting hay or you know moving moving equipment around on the farm. I don't really recommend it for the construction side of the equipment, but farm equipment. You can kind of get away with it just because they're a lot lower PSI than what some of the construction equipment is. Is uh, These right here can actually be 20% less on the size. So if, uh, let's say this was a Saturday, I didn't have a 3 8 but I had a 5 16 of this size, I'd be able to stick a 5 16 in there. The only issue with that is you diminish your uh, PSI rating on the seal. So most seals that I've actually put back into the put put back into your cylinders they rate they're rated for at least 5,000 psi so you're going to lose um, at least a thousand maybe even 1500 psi whenever you drop that uh, size down that's just because of the movement in there up and down uh, but in a, in a pinch on a Saturday where you've got to get rather the hay cut or you've got to get you know your equipment moved or whatever you may be doing um, it works and it'll kind of get you by to the week um, so the next thing we're going to be measuring is the wipe here up top. Like I said, it is a metal clad wipe, and this is the actual body of it. Um, 
there was no seal in there so we're, we're going to just measure the metal clad part so we know that the uh, so the OD is 1.8815 I know the ID is 1.5 so that's the size of the rod um, you can try to measure this it's going to be a little bit bigger but it's not going to give you an accurate measurement um, so if you've got your rod it's always best to go off your rod uh, I know the rod's an inch and a half and then we're going to be doing the height right here which is going to be from the top of this surface down to the step right here so stick the caliper kind of straight up and down we'll pull down and it's 1.865 uh best memory serves me that should be about 3 16 on that height right there and that's really the only measurements that you'll have to have um, for this seal like i said it is a metal clad seal they make three to four different versions of that. They make like a U style on a V style and they make something else that I'm not really familiar with. Normally the U's and the V's is what I mainly see with farm equipment. That and snap in wipes and that's a whole different ball game. We won't get into that in this video. Um, the next the next piece we're going to be measuring is the O-ring and the backup. Um, so I cheat a little bit so I've actually got a cone that tells me the size of the O-rings and what to order. The cone, it kind of, it looks like this right here, and it's got uh, grooves down here at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a groove for the, what I call the zero series, 100 series, 200 series, all the way up to 400. So we'll match the O-ring up with this groove. So it's a 200 series, and then we'll drop it down over it, and kind of wherever it falls, um, it, fell, it fell on a 228, and it's a little bit loose, so I'll probably order if I have to order them, which normally I keep O-rings in stock, but if I have to order them, generally I'll order what it, the seal, what the O-ring actually falls on, the size down below it, and in some cases the size up above it if it's really close, just depending on how tight that it is, just to make sure we get the right seal. Um, but this one's a 228. Like I said, it does have a little bit of slop in it, but 228 should kind of get us in the ballpark. Um, the next thing that we have, uh, the O-ring actually has a backup. The backups we don't really have to measure because um, they're sized to whatever O-ring you've got. So if I call and I order a 228 O-ring, I'm going to call and I'm going to say I need a 228 backup for that O-ring. Um, the only thing that you guys will have to watch and pay attention whenever you do order O-rings is uh, what durometer that you that you actually want. Um, they come in two main durometers that you mainly deal with. One's a 70 and one's a 90. The main difference is your pressure rating on them. 70 durometer, I believe, is about 3,500 PSI, as opposed to the 90 durometer that's 5,000 PSI. So I always try to do a 90 just to make sure that that the extra protection is there for the pressure. Um, generally, that's I mean, that's really about all that it, that goes to this cylinder. Pretty straight cut forward and dry. Um, it's a fairly simple cylinder and fairly you know real simple seals to put in. I know some of the bigger equipment, some of the uh, more heavier duty equipment or construction equipment, excavators, backhoes, dozers, stuff like that, you start running into buffer rings and actual uh, wear bands, uh, two or three different styles of uh, U-cups, different styles of piston rings, and we'll get into all that as I make more of these videos, but uh, for right now, I mean, that's, that's all we got. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.